So 343 recently released this trailer right here. This is the new Tenrai 4 trailer coming out, guys, very soon for us players to jump in and experience all the amazing things that Halo Infinite has to offer. And when I saw this, I was like, sure, why not? Mainly because this is going to be the fourth iteration of the Tenrai event that we've had within the Halo Infinite live service experience that we've had since the launch of the game. Though I feel like this Tenrai event is going to be a little bit less than the previous one because when you look at Tenrai 3 that we had back in, what was it, uh, September 19th to October 3rd, like your typical two week event that we had previously until well recently now it's going to be you know your entire month kind of progress as uh, showcasing here they had the 10 tier event pass with all the little goodies mixed in with that again like it was mainly just kind of like almost like the same type of content that we're even we're getting now even though most of the content is now going to be focused around getting an armor set and now exchange points right but even then like it those everything else that wasn't armor sets would might as well be equivalent to getting these uh what these emblem sets that we had right here especially since 25 percent of the customization that was even available in 10 right 3 was just the same emblem replicated multiple times over so it's like yeah you had multiple tiers of content but it really wasn't like actual content so what do we expect with 10 right 4 right we had this new trailer come out so what's going to be the difference between 10 right 3 to 10 right 4 well i've actually looked into it so let's get into the, all the details about it also did you know that 66 percent of people watching this channel are not subscribed if you guys want to keep up to date with everything going with halo and gaming and everything else in between well you know what to do then so stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand well all those details first bit of information that was actually teased about Tenrai 4 was this customization blog that we got for the content update 32 that came with the banished honor update and you can see yeah there is a guy sitting here with some new type of Tenrai armor but there's some extra things going on with this image that I'm surprised a lot a lot of people brought up when it came to this blog as, as a whole which kind of surprised me because it gave you pre not only previews to the following uh operations but also what kind of content we can expect because when you look at this map right here you can see oh this looks a little familiar as in it's a relic from halo 2 being put into halo infinite which we'll cover a little bit later in this video but from what we officially know about 10 rye 4 is that it's me running from june 4th until july 2nd but there is some unofficial information that is effectively what we're going to be getting for this event as well thankfully the homie bathrobe sparring was able to put together these nice graphics showcasing the various event passes that we're gonna get for these operations i can events operations i apologize for mixing the terminology together but they're kind of the same thing but different but i get it they're operations they're operations but you see here the bash honor operation here is a lot of coins you get for the exchange in an armor set and that's about it you can look at also now 10 right 4 it's gonna be a lot of the same thing of you get an armor set along with a bunch of coins you can spend with in the exchange now we don't have any information what the next exchange is going to be like how many duplicates there are going to be within the exchange when it comes to what was in there right now to what's going to be there with this operation because we were told that these exchanges are going to update pretty much every four or six weeks along with these operations effectively so not gonna be a one-to-one -one, but basically a one-to-one -one. but you can see within the tenrai operation you get an emblem a bunch of coins and you do earn an armor set which is nice to have for again for a free-to-play option that's great to at least earn an armor set there but of course we do all know that with these operations are mainly shop updates that were all the cool stuff that you want to get they're going to put in that shop likely in a 30 40 50 dollar bundle i don't know like the, the bundles that work within halo for now are kind of wild at this point i really wish that we could use these exchange currency points the spartan points if you will as part of an actual currency you can utilize to spend money within the store just because it gives players that option to grind the game right for the content to play the game which is the biggest issue that halo infinite has had since the launch of the game besides just the content it's just getting people to play the game and that would be a, a huge way to benefit people to just play the game grind out spend your hours in halo the money will come but it seems like the way that 343 are doing things right now that they're relying on the spartan point exchange things to kind of give you the content that you pretty much would have earned through some point of 
little customization that you can unlock through playing gameplay to now but it being tied to the spartan point system which is another form of currency you have to grind for now i do feel like the tenerai 4 operation is gonna be a little different because we've been teased about this one bit of content over and over again since J january if i remember correctly when it was first announced it was coming into the game and that is the match composer and i do feel like it's going to be coming with tenrai 4 here within this reddit post here it was actually replied by sketch talking about the match composer originally this post was really more about like hey i wish we had team objective as a permanent playlist and then sketch comes in the, the community director comes in to kind of go like well yay i wish so as well but let's be real most of the conversation about these temporary playlists that they are populated for the first week or so they die super fast and it's difficult to find a accurate match accurate being well skill balanced and also connection balanced as well and uh, you can see right here sketch actually provides a little bit of insight what we can expect for the match composer that team objective will be something you can actually search for specifically yourself so then if you're struggling to find a match it's your fault for trying to search for team objective rather than waiting for 343 to eventually rotate team objective into the game which could take months if not even more than that so that's great to have a ui update for the match composer right that'd be drastically changing how people play halo infinite but what will you actually be able to do in the game when Tenrai 4 launches? Well, previously, we did have a little bit of a playlist update when it came to various maps or some were themed off of traditional Halo maps. Like this one was themed off of the rig from Halo 5, but it kind of put into like a feudal Japan samurai kind of vibe to the whole thing as well. A lot of repurposed maps as you can see right here, but then re-utilized in a different type of visual format, just so then you can have something new to jump in and play. I don't really fully expect a full on playlist when it comes to Tenrai 4, like we did with Tenrai 3. I'm expecting something a little more, well, simplified to say the least, because what I'm expecting is to have just really just one map, kind of like what we have with like Corrosion, right? Where they had its own 24 seven playlist, you can jump in and play. I think we're gonna get something very similar and that's gonna be with the remake that was teased earlier with it within this video and within 343's Content 32 update, that being Relic coming into Halo Infinite. Now this map has been teased for quite some time, but then we actually had some leaked images finally back early in May about when this map could possibly come in. This looks to be very much in similar in vain to what we have with like the previous map of Corrosion being like a forge made map that was made most likely by Sparrowsoft. Again, it has been officially 100% confirmed. Again, 343 will just say like it's 343 dev maps, but when it's a 343 dev map, it's it's Sparrowsoft that's working on it. Like 343 themselves are working on the next Halo project. Come on. like. Let's be real here. And so when I look at this map, like, yeah, it does look like a uh, relic and it looks like it will play like relic, which is fantastic. But the thing is that it doesn't look nearly as exciting to play as you would expect a relic remake to be right. Like you got to compare it to like Halo 2 anniversary, right? Where that map looked fantastic. Yeah, there was a lot of performance hits and issues with that map because of how it performed on the Xbox one. But now we're on the Xbox Series X and get in. we're also playing on PC, right? Like you can hopefully make these maps functional enough to look visually appealing. That's something exciting you want to jump in and play. And it really just looks like really just kind of capture the same vibe we had back even in Halo 2 more than even Halo 2 Anniversary. And it just doesn't really get me that excited to play on this map. Like... Again, like if, they, if there was something new or exciting, some kind of evolution to the map to make it something a little bit more exciting to jump into play. Like we do see like this little tiny platform, right? Just outside of the map, which wasn't there originally. So that might be a tiny little bit of evolution when it comes to the map to where it might play out slightly different. But from my experience of playing Relic for years and years and years, like I have as a Halo player since what Halo Combat evolved back in 2001, I'm not expecting a whole lot of difference when it comes to this map. So when it comes in, it'll be fun for a short while. And then pretty much after that, I might lose interest pretty quick. Now we did get a quick look into the future when it comes to these 
operations coming in with Daniel Infinite, right? Because we have the announcement of these two different operations after the banished honor operation, that being the 10 right 4 event that we just talked about earlier, and also the Spartan Surplus, which just sounds such a different terminology that they use for their operations compared to anything else. Spartan Surplus just makes me feel like you're like trying to go like a liquidation sale at halo infinite for some odd reason that's the vibe i get from that kind of terminology of spartan surplus and we're running from july 2nd to july 30th so it won't be really that much of a surplus because it only lasts a month but luckily bath road spartan was able to grab some information about that as well and showcasing kind of a very similar experience of what we had with tenrai 4 right right here you get the emblem to start with and you unlock an entire armor set over the period of the 20 tiers. Similar idea, but this time with the Mark, what's it, 4, right? When it comes to the Halo Wars armor set, which I absolutely love. The limitations of the customization has been the biggest pain point of this armor set right here. But you can see at least you get like a side pack, a coating, a shoulder pad, and a helmet. So that's at least something you can get for that armor set, which is just the biggest shame because I love the armor set that was in Halo Wars 2. The fact that it's limited to just like mainly microtransactions, right? Like, yes, you can earn this stuff in game, right? But let's be real. I think about the Hidden Experience showcase that like 88% of the customization for that armor set is locked behind the store. And that's just like a huge pain point that Halo is going through right now. I mean, even look at the game right now, right? When you go on to the Banished Honor Operation Pass, right? You got your 500 credit thing you want to buy into if you really like that coding. Again, most of it is just so you earn an armor set with a bunch of coins you can spend within the exchange. And that's about that. And then most of the customization that you really want is actually tied behind a 3200 credit score which is like insane to me at this point that that's even a possibility and that you know it's been a common pain point within the halo community that we've talked about like hey we would love to have this customization as an option that you can just buy directly rather than have to buy into these gigantic bundles which to me don't feel like they'd be that feasible as something that people would buy into but hey people are out there they're spending the money on it you know, 343 has the data to where they can justify whether or not they'd, they'd be a good idea. Like, look at this right here, right? Like this DMR, or I should say banner rifle, uh, looks absolutely amazing. It's something I, I absolutely would buy into if it was like 500 credits, even a thousand credits, even because I am that desperate for content when it comes to Halo Infinite, that something like this would be awesome. And I'd actually buy into it, but I don't want to spend for me in the us 32 dollars to get this weapon set like no i'm not gonna spend 30 30 dollars on an armor set or a weapon uh customization just so i can have that like that just doesn't make any sense to me right now at this point like i got bills to pay man you know but like i love the armor that customization that came with the banished honor but again it being tied behind the shop in such a extravagant bundle it's just it's very difficult to have me pull the trigger and get involved with the content when i know that like hey that yeah like you have a new operation coming right 10 right 4 is gonna be great but when i know basically that it's gonna be mainly tied behind customization and then tied behind beyond that it's gonna be behind the shop and so i just lose interest in that kind of content for how strict the customization has been within halo infinite though to reiterate like it's something i really shouldn't be mad about because we all know that 343 have rotated out of halo infinite halo infinite is not the main focus of halo content moving forward it's all about the new project that they've been working on allegedly with unreal 5 and however they're going to work on it we've seen some videos and some content go out about what Halo 7 might be. Again, that's such speculation and rumors. I'm not gonna dive that much into it, right? Like it's it's so just hearsay that like I can't really take it for legitimacy and I don't wanna spread that information on this channel without knowing that there's some form of legitimacy behind it. But will you be playing Tenrai 4 when it launches? Well, let me know what you guys think about the Tenrai 4 update coming around here very soon. Are you gonna be jumping in and playing it? Hopefully, what are your expectations, what are your hopes about it as well? And we do know that we have the Xbox Showcase case coming here very soon i will definitely making a video about the entirety of that whole thing breaking it all down for you guys as well so if you guys like these informative videos hope to tap like and then help our to subscribe for me as well 
and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace out.